sehen. G'day again and welcome to some more Mailbox Madness with Big G at the G Spot. Today is a bit of a team movie special. It wasn't planned that way, but that's what's happened. And I've got to say, Timu is now my favourite online marketplace. Now, there are a couple of caveats to that. One, it does not have the variety of other places like AliExpress. And I'm still a little undecided on quality when it comes to electronics. Not that I've seen anything wrong, I just haven't had a chance to test enough yet. Uh, hint, hint, Timu, if you want to send me some stuff, that would be wonderful. Okay, here's the bag. Oh! It's a bag within a bag. Oh, this is a very very nice bag i will reuse this it's a um a huge ziploc bag i really like that let me move this and we'll start getting some things out <laughs> now i don't normally show the things for my Aquarium, I don't know, but I'm going to start doing that. What will happen is like now, I will open it up, have a quick look, and then um, set it aside for a separate aquarium video. This is some green woven cord. I have no idea what it is or what it's for. So we're going to have to investigate that one. <laughs> New shoes. I'm going to show this just because I don't know where else I could include it. What this is, is for cleaning your foot. Suction caps on the bottom. You stick it down in your shower and then you can just rub your foot through like that. These get in between your toes and I think they'll do that really well by the feel of that. And this cleans the bottom of your, sh your foot. Um, because of damage I've got from previous brain tumours, I have trouble cleaning my feet and I'm just trying this as an easier option. I will show you where that came from. from <laughs> this one is a wind-up toy for my granddaughter granddaughters when they come although the youngest is probably a little young yet but my oldest granddaughter who's just turned three said it can be a bit boring when she comes here because she's got a whole playroom at home and although we've got lots of rooms they're all sort of busy so <laughs> let's see what this does the light's pretty obvious oh he runs away <laughs> she'll love that aha uh -huh. this believe it or not is for an electronics project. This screws on to the edge of your desk shelf, wherever you want to put it. That must 
thread over there, I'm guessing, yes. That thread's over there. And then this sits inside so that you can mount a mannequin's head on there. Now, oh, excuse me, I'll get one and show you. Now, I haven't started working on these yet, but that fits, oh, that fits in the hole in there, like so. I'm not going to force an idiot to try that way. And then that goes in there, and that holds your head up. Ah, what a beautiful picture of my ex-wife. So, that's what that is. And I think I will show that in, uh, in the listing people might. Skip over it if you're not interested. What is this? I remember ordering it, but this is a little figurine of my ex mother in law. May she rot in hell. I do not remember what this is meant to do. Looks like it could pour water or sand or something at the top, but I don't know. Anyway, that's a mother-in-law toy. <laughs> okay, what these are, these were quite cheap. So I'm, these are just kitchen shears. And now I don't intend to use them outside of the kitchen. But when I cook a, or buy even, a roast chicken, I usually have shears so I can cut them in half and cut them into pieces. My last one's broke, so I bought these off Timu. And I will tell you what, um, let's just have a looky here. They're not a knife sharp, but pretty sure that yeah they're sharp enough to cut and oh and these things although it doesn't de necessarily mean quality but these things are damned heavy so that seems promising let me get rid of some more crap not much in the way of electronics in this one sorry but as I said, it's more of a Timu special. Somewhere in this house, I have a waiter's friend from a, given to me by an Australian wine rep. And I can't find it, which is a pity because I love it. So this is my temporary, temporary replacement, uh, barman's friend for opening your wine and things until I find the missing one. This is obviously <laughs> some sort of cleaning brush. Although it looks disturbingly like a lady's toy. So we'll check that one on the listings. This is supposed to be a handheld milk throffer. And what it's meant to do, it takes takes two AA batteries in here. How do we open 
open that. Oh, look, I'm not going to open that right now. My hands are sore, but I've had one open before. Um, this goes in there. You press the button up here, and this vibrates. And I think, I don't know if it actually warms up. We'll test that. But that then helps you throth your milk. And I got that for when I make my son a hot chocolate. Okay, this is probably the only thing I don't like about Timu. They're not particularly careful with their packaging. However, unlike AliExpress, who are borderline thieves, I've never had Timu argue. You show them a picture of the damage, which I think I'm going to have to do with this one. And... Uh, and uh, they just refund you. Now that can be a bit of a problem if you particularly want the one item because then you've got to make up the minimum value for postage again. Um, and by the way, the minimum postage, the minimum value for Timu to send anything out has gone up to $35 Australian now. Now I'm not going to use this now because it's a one-use item i'll see if i can find a video to, to clip of it to put into this but you light that um you light that black one in the center it sparkles and flames and in theory it lights all these other wicks and then it starts playing music and as it's playing music it opens up into a lotus flower with all candles going everywhere. I'll see if I can find a video of that. And that's going to be a tear down with a demonstration for another video. Uh -huh. I can, whenever I go to the supermarket, I can never seem to find a gold coin. And yeah, you can buy these at the supermarket but you're paying two dollars for a two dollar token so that two dollars has no value bar moving trolleys so it's sort of a no win situation then you lose it you've lost your money this i think was only a dollar something and if it's the right size for a one dollar coin and again i don't have one to compare it against but yeah this goes on your key ring and it gives you a Trolley coupon to unlock. So that's it from my first Timu bag with this beautiful Ziploc bag, which I will reuse. So let's get another one. I'm assuming this is Timu, but it's been it's a domestic package god this plastic's tough it's a domestic package although i do know that timu have drop shipping locations in australia now yep definitely timu because it's got another one of these really impressive looking ziploc bags This is just a um, a tin sign uh, for amusement. I'll probably put this outside my front door just to freak the neighbours out. And that has arrived in perfectly flat condition. That's a pleasant change. I love this song.
Not sure what this is yet. Doesn't say, it says this is a thermal pad. And it feels quite moist. Well, I think it should be. Yes, these are, if they're what they claim to be, these are thermal pads for self-adhesive thermal pads. Uh, you can't see it there, but there's probably a hundred or so on there. And um, they are for sticking MOSFETs, etc. to your um to your uh, heat sink when you need to insulate them uh, because if you just do it with a gluing compound the heat sink which normally goes to ground will then ground the um mosfet which is not usually what you want Ah, this is for electronics. A little bit bent out of shape. That knife hasn't arrived from Wish as sharp as they normally do. Now, you've all seen, or I assume you've all seen heat shrink before. Comes in, you know, strips, you put it over your wire, you apply heat to it, and it shrinks and seals it all, makes it waterproof and holds it tight. This is a liquid version of that stuff. Uh, liquid electrical tape, they call it. And what I bought this for is some time ago, you can see here, I melted my, partially melted, the cord on my soldering iron. Um, now I can't readily get heat shrink over that, so I'm going to give this paste a go. I'm not opening this now because it's huge. This is actually a background, a photography background that will be used in the, well it's one of the backgrounds that will be used in the, mm, the, uh, haven't decided what to call it yet. My son and I, beginning next Wednesday evening, this Wednesday evening coming, We'll be making videos where we try out strange meals, strange things from Asia. Um, not always necessarily pleasant things. Um, MREs, meals ready to eat. Uh, and I think that'll be quite interesting. Big Clive does it occasionally. And, uh, oh, okay, these. Uh, self adhesive hooks so that's your big self adhesive surface you can cut it down then you have these hooks that clip onto it I will show you Oh wow, that knife really isn't sharp. Okay, I'm going to have to get to that. So there's your self-adhesive hook. You peel off the back, you stick it down. And then your hooks fit on like so in those hooks there. Now I use them... I mainly bought these for the kitchen. 
I need to get a little more organisation in this kitchen. And because I'm renting, I, um, I've got to be careful about how I go about doing that. So I also use these around um, my garage, my little workshop in here, I will. <laughs> <laughs> not going to open it. This is a pretty little unicorn dress for my granddaughter who just adores unicorns. A cute little t-shirt for her.